I got, I, I got one okay. if I could. Sure. First of all, I feel sort of badly for uh, Russell Martin and Josh Donaldson because they're such winners and they've been in, always in the playoffs. But, but how do you lose all these one-run games and two-run games? You're sort of fundamentally unsound on offense. You don't get the leadoff double over to third. You don't score the guy from third with less than two out. On defense, you're playing guys like Valencia and Colabello, who are great guys, but they're not left fielders, and they're costing you. Your shortstop is making errors. They're not turning double plays. You've got a bullpen that they, they go into the season, they say, our closer is Brett Cecil. So the second game of the year, they bring the closer in in the eighth inning, which you should, I don't think you should do. And he blows the save, so he's no longer the closer. Let's make the 20-year-old kid a closer. And then he doesn't quite pan out. Now I guess Cecil's back, so, you know, let Gibby's sort of saying, yeah, I'm showing a lot of confidence in my closer. I mean, everything that can... They, they just are fundamentally unsound, offense and defense. And that short... They don't turn the double play. I mean, that White Sox series, there was a, there was a 4-6-3 where Goins went to Reyes, and he threw a lollipop to first, didn't get the runner, runner, they scored a run. They had a 6-4-3, where Reyes was so slow getting the ball to Goins that Adam Eaton almost killed Goins. And when Reyes was out, we had Goins at short and Travis at second, and they were turning double plays nobody could believe. So if you put Reyes in left field, he'd be fabulous. How, I mean, Mookie how, Betts is a second baseman <laughs> playing center, how, and Goins is a way better shortstop. Thank you. How, 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 how did you keep that all pent up without physically exploding before now? 